this time last year. This was the day before the great reveal. And there was a lot of tension and excitement in the air uh, as we awaited the news as to whether or not this discovery was that of Richard III. We are nearly a year on and we still haven't reburied him. Today marks another important step looking ahead towards that reburial. We've launched a new website today uh, which uh, begins to tell Richard's story in terms of the history of Leicester and in terms of the history of England. Uh, it's a website that has a film uh, on the front page and then a series of articles which tries to bust some of the myths around King Richard because one of the things I've learned during this past year is that people have all sorts of interesting stories about him but what we've tried to do is to go back to the historical sources and to get back to the truth about Richard. One of the very interesting things that I think people will want to know more about is our plans to re-inter him. So we're going to uh, have a a whole um, series of services over four or five days and the way I remember it is they all begin with R. So first of all there's reception where his human remains are brought to the cathedral with great solemnity and dignity and then there's a period of repose when he will lie in the cathedral uh, for the general public to come to pay the respects. And the coffin, we're commissioning uh, a pall, that's a medieval uh, piece of cloth which will go over the top of the coffin and that'll be embroidered, decorated with part of Richard's story. And then the third R after uh, reception, repose, is reburial. That's the big main service when we will place his remains in a vault in the ground in the heart of the cathedral. And then the fourth R is revealed because overnight after the reburial, uh, we'll place the big three and a half ton slab of stone on top of the grave. And that's the point when the whole city, county, nation, world will see King Richard III's new tomb. Nothing is going to take King Richard III away from Leicester. You know, he's in the soil of Leicester. He's embedded in the story of Leicester and her peoples. So nothing's going to change that. The new Cathedral Gardens will have his statue and a new statue commissioned by the uh, County Council. The new Visitor Centre is going to retell this story. Nothing's going to change any of that and the memorial will still be in the Cathedral. But we do look forward more than that to the time when the king will be reburied here as well. And we're hoping very much that the judges will come to that widely accepted view.